Hello there and welcome back to Travel Counselors Webinars 2022, a fresh start, one of 12 this year. I hope you all had a lovely festive break, a great uh, festive season and uh, are now getting back into the swing of things in the new year. Hopefully no January blues uh, as of yet. My name's Joe. I'm part of the franchise recruitment team here at, uh, in our support office in Manchester. And uh, in today's webinar, we're going to be talking through some frequently asked questions, uh, mainly that we are put forward from people who are considering the uh, the opportunities of starting their own travel business and uh, and using a franchise model like travel counselors to do so there'll be some details coming up throughout the, the presentation there'll be some details at the end of the, the show as well please follow the links and like and subscribe to our content if you are considering this then there's loads loads more to go through online and you will find that uh, information useful so we'll get cracking uh, today we've been a bit quiet over the past couple of months November and December we we didn't do a webinar due to many things COVID Christmas things getting in the way so we have got a little brief catch-up uh, I want to share that video with you now. Enjoy it and then we'll get cracking straight into the content as well. It's absolutely amazing to be back everyone together. Um, it looks so nice to see familiar faces, lots of new faces as well and people that you've had on WhatsApp groups that you've not actually met in person so it's just been brilliant. Great to see all the head office staff as well, it's just been lovely. It's been amazing, it's unreal, it's unreal. This time last year I, I didn't think this was going to happen ever again. I've come all the way from Gibraltar specifically for this, it's been very emotional, it's been great to be back. This is actually my very first conference, I'm relatively new having started just before Covid. They're all a friendly bunch. I've loved every session. Even some of the comments when we put little tips to each other on the table. Think like a new starter, reconnect with some of the things. I love Karina's session. I love getting an award as well for myself. And Steve, we love Steve when he gets all passionate. It's just been nice to have that and, and be back. But every session I've got something from and lots of notes taken as well. It's nice to see what we've achieved, even though it's been a pandemic, like all the systems, the upgrades, TC World, the marketing hub, when you actually see it all, it's amazing really what's been achieved, especially by the support team. But I think for us it's just like little gentle reminders of things we can be doing. It's just been brilliant, really got a lot out of them. I think like nice short, sharp sessions as well, which has been really good. So I think it's just worked really, really well. You know, it just reinforces certain things that you maybe really should have been up to speed with, but maybe you just let slip up because of this situation. Just and it just gives you a boost, you just feel a bit more positive about everything really. I've had a second job all throughout the pandemic. I quit last week and I'm so ready to focus completely back on my TC work now. I'm going to pretend I'm a new starter like they said today in the conference sessions. I'm going to go back and totally go through all the discover things. Um, and try and rebuild my business as much as I can. It's been a brilliant day. Uh, lovely to get back with our suppliers and not only that, but face to face with TCs and directors. It's just been interesting, you know, like they've mentioned about the rediscovering stuff on Perch. It's like, you know, get yourself stuck back in there, start with the, you know, training, throw yourself back in at the deep end and, you know, focus on going forwards. Like Steve says, get every penny back and more. Sometimes you need to uh, step back listen to the professionals, let them give you the, put you in the right direction and then you can go back to work and get cracking on it, yeah. So I'm looking forward to going back to work already. The bookings I've done in the last couple of months have just been phenomenal. I can't believe how many people are just so ready to get away again. I am incredibly positive about the future.
Brilliant. So yeah, an active December and November it was. We had some great events and it was great to get back with existing travel councillors uh, because for however many months now, 20 is it, maybe 22, we hadn't been able to have that face-to-face -face contact. So it was uh, yeah, really, really exciting to get back doing what we do best uh, and meeting up with people, suppliers, and, uh, and yeah, catching up more than anything and, and, and seeing where the business is, is been and where it's going to in the next, uh, next 12 months. So without further ado, here are some of the main questions we get asked as franchise re recruitment consultants for people who are considering um, joining the business. So if we can go to the next slide, please, Jamie. What are the costs? So that's probably the most common question that, that we get asked. And it's an important one because ultimately there's going to be some sort of investment from you as a potential franchisee. So our model is exactly that, it's a franchise model, so it does involve an investment. And we have a, ver a variety, sorry, of investments depending on your experience selling travel. Ultimately, that is what we look for because that's what you would be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And the costs range from £12,000 inclusive of VAT to £354 inclusive of VAT. So there's quite a contrast in terms of the training types that we have. Now, it's not applicable to just choose which route of entry you would like to come through on. We have a, we have a, a couple that support our business model and they range from, as I say, experienced uh, consultants to people who are brand new, love, love the idea of starting their own business and have a passion for travel. Those routes of entry are our leisure and corporate route of entry. So for people who are selling travel currently and have four or, ye four or more years experience. We have an intermediate route of entry, which is for people who are either returning to travel after a spell, perhaps a furlough, maybe starting a family, uh, and also our travel trade route of entry, which falls into that intermediate bracket. And that's for people who have worked in the industry but for not, not necessarily sold travel. So perhaps they worked in product or a commercial um, department within a, uh, a travel business. Or for example, they've ran or managed hotels, anything of that sort. And the, uh, the third is our travel academy route of entry. Now that route of entry is, as I say, for people who are brand new to travel. They've, uh, they've never worked or sold in travel, but they absolutely love it. And, we, they, uh, and they come on board because they've got a passion for it and want to try, try something new. Further afield, we have a business development model, uh, and that's for people who enjoy winning business, but not necessarily booking travel, and also our, uh, our agency owner business. So there's quite a few, and if you are interested in any of those, then give us a shout. We'd be happy to go through those details with you and, uh, and talk more in depth about those on a one-to-one -one basis. Likewise with the costs, uh, as they do differ, we'll go through those more on a one-to-one -one, um, basis. But that's the breakdown of the costs. We have a couple of monthly fees that you should be aware of as well. And as a whole, all travel councillors will pay £86.80 per month, uh, subject, subject to change from a time to time basis, but you'll always be given notice on that. And they, they cover three core components. Uh, the first is an insurance cost to protect you from liability against bookings that you make. The second is a, an operational maintenance uh, cost for the business. So everything that we do behind the scenes, there's a cost for that to help support your business. And the third is a business telephone line cost. So we provide a business landline number for your business uh, and that is the third cost. And collectively those three are £86.80. Uh, next slide if you can, Jamie, please. Commission, so rather than just focusing on the money that you will be spending uh, being a travel counsellor, it's also to, um, uh, important to understand how our model works and how you yourselves will, will earn that money. So we are a franchise model, this is a self-employed business opportunity and that does mean that the money that you do earn is on a commission basis. So uh, the way that works is we base that on the profit available from anything that you book. So you're in control of that profit and that margin uh, collectively. Uh, and the split is a 60-40 split. 60 to you as the travel counsellor and 40 back into the business so we can reinvest uh, into you and your businesses. So 60-40 as a whole, there's no thresholds, there's no limits to the commission that you can earn. Uh, that is all in your control. Everyone's given the same toolkit, everyone has the same laptop, the same booking and reservation platform. It's ultimately down to, to you and your business and how you, how you build that, which will ultimately determine how much commission that you make. So going back to it, 60-40 in terms of the commission split. 
So the uh, next is how does our training work? And it's important to understand that we've moved on from what our model used to be. So previously um, our training programs used to be held in our Manchester head office, but because of the times and how society is working at the moment, we changed that to a digital hybrid model. And so it's all now delivered from head office, but to you at the comfort of your own home. So we would provide and send out all of your equipment uh, as part of the onboarding process so you are ready for a Monday morning start and ready to, to kick start the training. So how that looks, it's a two week initial training period, Monday to Friday and they are full days, nine till five roughly. And, uh, and that works over a, a period of, uh, yeah, sorry to go back to it, Monday to Friday. So once you've completed that training, uh, your business is launched and you become uh, an operational travel counselor so you can start making bookings as early as two weeks. But the training doesn't start there, uh, stop there, sorry. There is actually a lot more content to go through. You will just be doing that as your business is, is live and, and up and running. Uh, that content covers all sorts of things uh, to make sure that you are comfortable running your own travel business. Ultimately, you've always got the support behind the scenes, but we put as much content in as we can uh, so that you're happy uh, and in a, in a solid place so that you can deal with inquiries, you can deal with customers and go through any sort of all, uh, specific questions that, that they go through. So content that we would cover, for example, is the commercial and the product side of travel. Who do we have agreements in place with? What can you earn? How do you earn your money? Sales training, marketing training. We'll show you how to use our reservation uh, platforms and systems. So it's a well-versed and a well-rounded training program. Important to remember that we can't fit everything into two weeks, so you won't cover every nuts and cranny of travel. Sometimes it's a case that you won't cover that training until you get an inquiry or you get a question where it relates to that. And then we're on hand to deliver that content to you so you can learn it and pick it up and, uh, and make sure your customer's happy with the information that you give. So summarizing, uh, the training is done digitally. It's a hybrid model, so trainer-led with course and modular content within those first two weeks. And then further afield, it's a six month running program but whilst you're running your business. And that content as well is modular based too. So you'll be able to pick that up as and when uh, you are able to do so. And you can do it in your own time and do it at your own speed. And, and I think that's really important because you're not held up or you're not uh, or you're not holding people up, you can learn at your own speed. So, you know, there's people who want to just click through content and they learn at a fast, uh, quick pace. So they'll move ahead. And there's people who take a little bit of time and, and it's a good, medium for you to learn at your own pace you can revisit and you can always complete training as and when you can revisit it in the evening if you want to so it's a really flexible training model um, but remember two week commitment and uh, and that's done digitally from home we'll send out all the equipment to you so you can uh, so you can get up and running uh, asap thanks jamie what support is available? Sorry, I think this is probably one of the most important uh, aspects to running a home business. And I think this is where we might differ as travel counsellors in comparison to maybe some of our competitors and some of our uh, some of the other franchise home-based models. And and how we do that is is we put we put ultimately you, the travel counsellor, first. Um, first and foremost, travel counsellors is a community, so it's not just head office and travel counsellors. It's it's all as one. And you'll find that uh, our community of travel councillors, which is just over 1900 at this moment in time across six different countries, is the best form of support that you will get. Uh, they're the people who are doing it on a day to day basis. They're there to support, give advice, help, create, whatever it might be, uh, to help your business get to where you want it to be. And, and we do that from day dot, day one you'll be assigned a TC mentor for six months uh, when you first join us. And they're there for exactly everything I've just mentioned there. They're the person who will hold your hand, the person who will give you advice, take you through that first booking, take you through that first refund. It's quite applicable at this moment in time. So they're for you to ask any questions that you might need. Further afield, we have community platforms available for you to engage with different travel counsellors, people within head office. You can raise support tickets with our, our 
our business support executives. They're there for people who are they're there for sorry answering questions on the ground. So what your customers and clients are are asking, um, how do we how do we communicate that? That's one of our platforms that we use. And of course, head office. We're about a 300 plus strong team at this moment in time, currently growing as well across six different countries. So. There's a, a real strong setup for you and your business to get any questions answered. And no question is a daft question. We will genuinely, we've seen it all and heard it all before. And, and because times are changing at the moment, you know, there, there actually is no, no daft question because um, every day is a school day at the moment. I mean that from people who have been in the industry for 15 or 20 years as well. Um, so the support is, is, is a crucial part to, to your business. Use it uh, if you can. And, and I think that's where we differ. We don't offer levels for a, a cost. There's no additional costs to our support. What you get is literally one, one community worth of, uh, of a business, and we will do our utmost to make sure you feel welcome, your business, you know where it's up to and where it's at, uh, and you can get questions answered in a, in a quick and meaningful fashion. So yeah, support is massive. Speak to travel counsellors in your, your journey of finding out about who we are. Uh, they'll give you the answers, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We're not perfect no one is uh, and if any any place tells you they are they're probably telling you telling you fibs and um, do that due, di due diligence work and and you'll find out what support really is on offer and as i say we can go through absolutely everything and no questions is is off uh, out of bounds when uh, when speaking to the recruitment team as well so we'll be happy to answer um any questions that you have if you do want to to follow up as well so Support is massive, it's there to be used, and, and um, yeah, it's, a, it's an exciting time for, for what we've got coming up as well in terms of our support. And we've got a brief video as well, just giving you a feel for the type of platforms that we use and have been using uh, as a business throughout the, the last 18 months. And, and this sort of shows the, the change in, in how we've uh, moved forward dealing with uh, yeah, the pandemic and everything in between. So a couple of uh, clips there, just showcasing the easy toolkit that you'll have access to to help support your business. There's much, much more to it than uh, a little video like that. And uh, I promise it's, it's exciting to understand a little bit more and, and hear about it. And um, definitely something that you should be doing if you are considering um, a model like this. Uh, the next one is your, your ongoing support. So the business development, how do we keep your business going? How do we make it reach its potential? And, uh, and I think that again is, is quite an important part to, to running your business. So how does this work? How does the support operate? I mentioned briefly the mentor scheme that we have here at head office. So that will be there on a day-to-day -day basis. You liaise with your mentor uh, 
mentor, as a mentee, confusing, uh, but uh, whenever you want, they're there to help with absolutely everything. And then as you move sort of more into the head office side of your business support, we've got a, uh, a team here at head office who are there for coaching calls. Uh, they're there to give advice and guidance about making your business reach its potential. Uh, our, our train, uh, sorry, our coaching team are all uh, certified five ILM uh, trainees, so they are phenomenally experienced when it comes to dealing with travel franchises and growing businesses. Some of the team have been with the business for 15 plus years as well, so they they know it like the back of their hand, and, and they're there to make sure that we can get you where you want to be however however that would look so a really part part important part sorry of, of running a business and, and again utilize that support because it's it's very important it's there for all of our travel councils and, and you will see a success uh, transformation if, if you do if you do do that um, in terms of all the other questions that we get with regards to business development is there a fee for that? Is there uh, a tier structure in terms of my investment for that? Uh, that's not the case. That is just part and parcel of being a travel counsellor. Let us know when you need it. We can't read minds, but we will give you that support when, when you do need it. Um, there's no additional cost for it. It's just uh, all, all in, um, in incorporated into that initial investment and monthly fees that, that you pay as well. So business development, an in-house team here to support the growth uh, of your business. And you know, they're there for the good, the bad and the ugly as well. So utilize them when you can. And if you want more information on that or any specifics, again, details at the end of the slide and we can go through that accordingly. Thanks, Jamie. Okay, technology. So this is um, an exciting part of the business, I would say. So we invest uh, six million pounds yearly on our tech and our systems uh, for you as a franchisee and, um, and a travel counselor. And we do that because we want to, you to be the best that you can be. And the way that the world is at the minute, tech is, is the main part of that. I think it's, uh, it's highly important and it gives you uh, the use to get in contact with your customers and your clients at you know, the click of a button. But we also want to remain person, personal uh, when we do that and when we use the technology. So our bread and butter here uh, and our baby is Phoenix. That's our reservation platform. That's the booking toolkit that you will use as a travel counselor. Um, it's an in-house system, so it's built by our IT team and our IT department here at head office. So it is regularly updated, regularly tested, regularly changed to suit the needs of how our business uh, and how your business is, is operating. So it's never a finished article, it's never a finished product. We change it every three weeks, so you'll sl see slight, slight differences maybe from time to time. Any major updates, you'll be given well in advance and you'll be able to work around when they are, when they're up and running. Uh, but what Phoenix is is great for, it allows you as a travel counsellor to essentially act as a travel agent or a tour operator. Two differences in, in how you could run your business here. Uh, the system will pull absolutely everything into one uh, one place. So you're not having to go onto different softwares, use different web pages and, uh, and all sorts of softwares to build these tailor-made itineraries. You can pick and choose absolutely everything in one place. You don't have to leave Phoenix to get what you need. So you can build bespoke itineraries, you can choose your flights, your hotel accommodation, you can add your own transfers, you can even add attractions. You can create these off the beat, uh, off the track bespoke trips that are so personal to your customers, you're giving them exactly what they want. You can access, um, you know, airport car parking, uh, lounge access. You can organize transfer to and from the airport. Absolutely everything is available in Phoenix. And if we haven't got access to it, there's either a reason for that, or we'll do our best to find an answer and, and explain why it's not there. Perhaps it's not a product that we've needed at that time, so maybe we can get that added onto our book. It's, it's all possible, possible, and questions just need to be asked. Ask the question and we'll see what we can do to support, support your business, whether that be a, a product or a commercial agreement. Phoenix, as I say, is the bread and butter of that. We also have a mobile app, which I think where, is, uh, where we differ from maybe other organizations as well, which puts you as the travel counselor in the pocket of the customer. It's phenomenal. It's so easy to use. You can send 
quotes and inquiries to your customers and they can view it on their phone at a click of a button. They can be in contact with you. They can make bookings through the app. They can make payments through the app. They essentially can do as much as you would behind the scenes or through the use of this app. And those are the platforms that are, are leading the way in terms of our, our travel councillors as opposed to maybe other organisations. Further afield from that is, is some of the systems that we've shown you uh, already through the videos. Our community platform is recently launched and um, it's there to act as a community platform for you to reach out to other travel councillors. How are they operating, share ideas, collaborate, work together. Um, there's loads and loads going on. It's always changing. It's never a, a sort of horizontal line with travel councillors and how we operate and what our tech's getting up to. It's always up, down here, left, right, centre. So uh, lots to do with technology. Get in touch and speak to us about what's on offer and where we might differ in terms of our, our platforms uh, in comparison to others. Um, and we'll go through it with you. One of the, the main actually attributes of, of Phoenix as well is, is putting you in control of those, uh, of those bookings that you'll be making. You can control your, your margin, you can control your earnings, you can essentially determine the cost that you're going to be selling holidays and all that is visible through, through this Phoenix platform. You can manage your, your back office side of your business, so you know your earnings, you can view when your commission is going to be paid, you can really get the get grip and get hold of sorry of, of where your business is up to uh, and as I say all in one place so what more can, can you ask for in terms of, of that technology that we provide it just makes it so seamless so simple to use um, and it really puts you in control of, of your business and where where everything is at uh, as well so lots to talk about in terms of technology give us a call and we can talk through that um, and yeah, there's, there's loads going on. It's uh, an exi exciting, exciting year uh, for that, and especially as we approach peaks uh, and, and, um, and hopefully break some sales records, Phoenix is going to be at the, uh, the epicenter of that. So uh, yeah, give us a shout if you want any more on, on technology. Thanks, Jamie. Cool. So the commercials um, of the business. So what I mean by the commercials is uh, what essentially you can sell. Who do we deal with as a business um, in terms of the product, the rates that we get, how competitively priced are we uh, as a business? Because ultimately you're going to be selling this product. So how, how does that that work and uh, there's lots to it we in short there is a an awesome commercial department here who operate behind the scenes who do exactly that so they get you the product that you need to be able to sell and be um, uh, and meet demands of what customers want they are the team who negotiate hard uh, with suppliers and different organizations to get a competitive price for you so that you can then sell that on to your travel counselors, uh, sorry, to your clients, unless you're selling yourself a, a booking. Uh, and they're the team who are regularly updating you with what's going on in the industry. So offers, sales by the airlines, products that are on uh, offer from hoteliers, keeping you in the loop with what's, uh, what's available to you to then go and broadcast on your social media pages, talk about it to your customers uh, and, and really push your business and make it as you know, uh, competitive as it can be uh, and out there as it can be so that you are winning the business rather than yeah, other, other travel organisations. So commercial, really important part of the business. You won't see sort of much of it. It'll all be channeled through, uh, through our community platforms and our booking platforms. Um, but it's, it's something that you don't have to worry about. You don't have to go out and, and win contracts. You don't have to go and deal with uh, suppliers to get their product. We do that for you. And I mentioned earlier, if you have got anything particular that you know that your customers are after and maybe we don't have on our books then then raise that question we'll see what we can do uh, and if we can find a product um, uh, of the same sort great but if we can't we'll look into maybe engaging that that, um, that supplier or, or that um, other organization so that you can then go on and sell that so yeah commercial an important part of your business summarizing essentially what you can sell and how competitive you will be uh, as a travel counselor ultimately you've got to be competitive to to make a successful business out of uh, out of this as well so that's what our our commercial department do as well more information available online through that check out our web page check out our our various platforms and there's loads and loads of content uh, available for you to to look into that in a little bit more detail as well those details i've mentioned a couple of times already will be at the end of uh, the show Cheers, Jamie. 
Marketing, okay, cool. So uh, marketing is a massive part of your business. Ultimately, it's how you are gonna grow your business from a sort of startup to whatever you want it to take it. We've got teams, uh, travel counselors who run businesses and employ people here. We've got people who uh, are just starting off uh, and are doing it as a one-man one band. And how they do that ultimately is down to the, the marketing side. It's, it's how you will grow your business. And there's loads to this. Too much to, to cover on this webinar because there's so much uh, involved in what we can provide and how marketing works uh, on a day-to-day -day basis for you and your business. But ultimately, you are in control of uh, that content. We have brand guidelines that are available to you um, that you can create content, but we also have a marketing team here at Head Office who will design, create uh, content for you to pick and share uh, what you want to put on your various platforms. Um, you can do that, it's up to you. You can pick and choose, you ultimately you know what Sorry, you know who your customers are, so you'll know what's relevant to them. Uh, we run regular campaigns uh, that you'll have access to. We work with suppliers who will run campaigns as well, so they can showcase their product you know, in, in massive detail and right down to the point so that you can ultimately educate your customers about what this, what this product is. Further afield, uh, your, your customers and clients with consent can subscribe to marketing. We can market on your behalf so that they're regularly receiving offers, different content but specific to them, um, as well as that keeps you at the forefront of their mind and, uh, and your business. So whenever they are thinking about potentially booking a holiday, they can just get in touch with yourself and, uh, and, and yeah, and, and make that inquiry. As well as, um, as what we can create from a digital point of view, we can if old school is the right phrase, I'm not sure, maybe, maybe someone will shout at me for that. But there's people who like the, the documents, they like the tangible material, like marketing material, you can see on the, uh, on the screen here an image of uh, one of our brochures there. So you can purchase those uh, you can send those to your customers. They're, sorry, available through our Brand Center online store. Uh, and that's where you can buy anything from brochures, business cards, stationery, uh, networking banners, pens, USBs, absolutely everything with a, a TC logo on it. You can, um, you can purchase and you can buy at your own expense to yeah, really further, further afield your business um, and just market yourself. You know, Little touches matter as well and we can get uh, everything with a TC logo on there as well. So to summarize the marketing point of, view, uh, point of view, sorry, to summarize what we have available from a marketing point of view, we have digital and tangible sort of physical content available. We can market on, a, on behalf uh, of you as the travel counselor with consent to your customers. They can unsubscribe if they, if they feel necessary. You can create your own content uh, to share with your customers to put on your social media platforms. We can create as a head office function um, the marketing material so that you can pick and choose uh, what's relative to your business uh, and share. Ultimately, that allows you to focus on building relationships with your customers and, and I suppose selling, uh, which is the, the main part of running business. That's what's going to earn you your money. So you can focus exactly on that. We can take away the time for you that you would spend doing so. Um, yeah, so you can focus on what really, I suppose, what really matters and, and, and that's your customers. Um, lots going on with the marketing. It's always changing, so we will keep in time uh, with that. You know, we do uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn, LinkedIn, Instagram. Um, they're probably our three predominant, but you know, we have travel counselors now operating on TikTok. We have operating. Uh, Sorry, travel counselors operating on Snapchat. There's all sorts going on. Whatever works for you and your customers, and as long as you adhere to the, the brand guidelines, then then great. Let's try try something new, and we'll support you with that uh, as a business as well. Loads and loads of stuff uh, available online about marketing. And again, speak to the travel counselors. Look at travel counselors' web pages and web uh, web. Sorry, look at travel counselors' social media pages and platforms and web pages to see what they're doing uh, to stay in tune and at the forefront of their, their customers' and mind and business. Thanks, Jamie. So that's pretty much what we have covered today are the main questions that we would get asked uh, as a recruitment consultant uh, dealing with new inquiries about people uh, looking to start a business. So what's next? Well, let me, let me break it down and be super, super clear that 
travel is returning. I, I promise you that. It's been on the up since sort of October, uh, September, October time, 2021. We had a little bit of a bump uh, in December when the news of uh, the variant um, came out, um, but it's not stopping where we are going and what we're doing as a business. We are well equipped and well prepared for another peak season. The news recently about restrictions, um, testing restrictions being um, being removed on uh, entry back into the UK have seen a massive, massive spike in travels. Last Friday alone, like for like in 2019, which is when we based our last sort of business year on because nothing happened in 2020, we sold over two million pounds worth of new bookings. It was insane. Travel's not dead. People are traveling, you know, just ask the questions and we're happy to give you that information. In terms of what next is, is completely up to you. I hope some of these questions have been useful in terms of giving you uh, some food for thought if this could be an option for you. But don't let it stop there. Uh, I've mentioned speaking to travel councillors, get in touch with uh, the recruitment team um, at head office and we can go through absolutely everything and anything. If you are considering different options, ask these sort of questions to, um, to that organisation. Make sure you are fully aware of, of what's going on with that business, how it operates on a day-to-day -day basis and the specifics. Do your due diligence because it's a massive, massive step becoming a self-employed business owner certainly in travel at this moment in time and uh, and make sure that it's ultimately the right opportunity and right step for you we won't rush you into anything you have to make that decision yourself but we can hopefully guide you and support you with finding out that information uh, as and when you uh, when you feel and deem necessary uh, what comes next after this? There's plenty going on from a recruitment point of view. Our next uh, recruitment event is a discovery day here in Manchester at our head office. Gives everyone um, a chance to come and meet us in person in the flesh. See what goes on behind the scenes. Check out our support office here in Manchester. Speak to the people from these departments who are doing these amazing things uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's coming up from a recruitment point of view. And as I say, this is a, the first webinar of 12 throughout the year. So keep in tune. As I say, like, subscribe, check out our online content. It's so important that you do if you are considering this. And uh, to play us out, to give people hopefully a digital feel for what we're all about as a business, we've got a, a video here that we had played at one of our conferences a couple of years ago, but it speaks volumes about where we've come from to where we are now and where we are moving forward. It's a, uh, an eight or nine minute clip, so do bear with us, maybe grab a, a brew if you wanna uh, check it out, but it's a, it's a good video and I know you'll enjoy it. I hope to hear from you all soon. It's been a, sp a, a pleasure, a pleasure, I can't even talk, speaking with you all and I will hopefully catch up with you all some point soon, either on the phone or in head office here. Thanks very much and speak again. West England, Atherton. In 1994, a businessman, a business plan, got in on the ground floor. He's quick to check and spec new tech so early to the party with this information superhighway internet malarkey. Thinking people love to travel and it rains round here a lot. There's a world of opportunity and so he hatched a plot. Folk will shop at home on mobile phones and then their new computers. Most would scoff, but he set off. I've seen it, it's the future. We'll make the tech work, build a network built on service always there. But our USP will always be our human trust and care. And now 25 years later, we have teams around the world. We are travel counselors. This is how our dream unfurled. Built on personal relationships, bespoke beloved boutique, through human unto human understanding you, unique, so you can get up, you can step up, you can set up on your own. Stand resplendent, independent, but you know you're not alone. And our power pack have got your back. With tech, with expertise, we're a worldwide web of wonder, understanding overseas. And so people trust their travel to our tried and tested teams. Be it business trip or holiday, their honeymoon of dreams. Because the net worth of our network, when it sets to work, is untoppable. Through windstorms and through sandstorms, when we stand tall, we're unstoppable. At our best when we are tested, and the rest will never beat us. No volcano, no tsunami, no alarm. 
it won't defeat us. We always care, we're always there, we always share a rare resolve. And when a client has a problem, pretty soon it's problem solved. Because any trouble at the double and our safety net's connected and our clients know that rightly so, their money is protected. And when this trust spreads as it must, then we can trust what will occur will be a mate, speaks to a mate and says we're great. And so referrals see and on it goes. And so it grows. God knows it's working so far. If you want to work in travel and you really want to go far with some training, some explaining and no brainer, it's a doddle. You can build yourself a business within our business model and become a travel counselor. 2000 strong, we see them stood united and delighted and excited in their freedom freedom because the energy, the talent and the flair that this releases, the pride inside this magnifies, the drive that this unleashes. It's our silver anniversary and we've reached it truth be told with this line of shining diamonds and the way we go for gold and the lengths we go, the strengths we show have taken us towards how do you do not one but two magnificent Queen's Awards. You see, we get to know our customers. They really get to know us. And we love to hear their stories, see the photos that they show us. So here am I, like Princess Di, outside the Taj Mahal. That's us with our Cornettos cruising down the Grand Canal. And it's great to share their memories of all we've helped them do. And of course, as travel counselors, we share our stories too. Oh, and when we get together, business, yes, but fun as well. Such experience and knowledge, all the tales that we can tell. We have seen the seven wonders. We have sailed the seven seas. We can order beer in Spanish, German, French, and Japanese. We have rolled the dice in Vegas, rolled across so many lands. I have stopped the leaning Tower of Pisa, leaning with these hands. I have seen Forbidden City. I have walked those ancient walls. I have seen how Everest rises and the way Niagara falls. I have seen the Bolshoi Ballet and the Valley of the Kings. I have been in great cathedrals as a choir of angels sings. I have said a prayer for Elvis down in Memphis, Tennessee. I have never swum with dolphins, but the dolphins swam with me. I have stories of the glories of the Orient Express in Nova Scotia's snow, so I proposed and she said yes. I have sailed into Venice. I have cruised along the Nile from the open arms of Jesus to the Mona Lisa's smile. I have smiled and laughed and lived and loved in countless nameless bars. And that day above the bay, the way we kissed beneath the stars, I have seen the Trevi Fountain, thrown a coin in, made a wish. And the plain truth is it came true with so many days like this and just the kids and you and I beneath the sky then heaven knows all the love we felt between us there with sand between our toes we have reached the secret beaches where the sunsets made us cry we made plans to have our ashes mixed and brought here when we die I have seen the Sphinx of Giza, where the very pharaohs trod. I have reached across with Adam, touched the outstretched hand of God. I have danced to jazz piano down in Old Town, New Orleans. I have gazed at Lady Liberty thinking, I know what she means. I have seen the pride of lions. I have watched a tiger's power. I sang non je ne regret rien atop the Eiffel Tower. I have seen the golden temple. I have seen the golden gate. I have screamed I did it my way from atop the Empire State. And so yes, I do it my way. No regrets, I live my dream. And I do it as a part of it, the heart of this great team. So let's hear it for the techies, the successes that they've brought us, and the cheer for all the heroes who are here at our headquarters. And this test requires the best so we don't rest till we recruit them. Give me clapping, cheering, whooping for your colleagues. We salute them. Can you hear that? Can you feel that clapping loud and hard and long? It's the stirring sound of teamwork makes the dream work. And it's strong and that spirit, when we're in it, reach the summit, we can win it. How fast we've grown, our past has shown, our futures without limits. From Bolton to Barbados, 
Atherton to Zanzibar. Fly fast and right past Venus until this is where we are. With this family, in this moment, with this feeling, in this place. We've crossed oceans, world in motion to the edge of outer space. So yes, we've climbed a mountain and tonight admire the view. But the challenges keep mounting into challenges and new. And this story's travelled far and wide, but close to home, it's clear that the next leg on our journey must start here and here and here. Let this moment be the moment when we really clearly say, yes, we're so proud to remember, but the future starts today. See, the moral of this story is we have to keep on moving, unrelenting, reinventing, keep on proving we're improving, keep reviewing what we're doing, keep renewing, keep connecting, because the future will demand it, and our customers expect it. The experience we're selling, the experience we hold, that experience must be telling when the future's being told. We've seen 3G, 4G, 5G, but we have to keep our eyes on all the 3D, AI, VR, AR tech on the horizon and the world will keep on changing. But the values that we keep will be our fabled, tech-enabled people face-to-face -face with people. See, the customers will come with us if we offer extra miles. If not dollars, not kilometers, if we measure this in smiles. We've got the team, we've got the dream, the head of steam, the dedication. So that freedom is our destiny, success our destination, with ambition, and our vision on a mission to believe. Just think how far we've traveled and then think what we'll achieve. So with colleagues synced with colleague, linked to customer with care, forever travel counselors together. We'll get there.